Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing three looks using the brand new, it's the Natasha Denona, it's the Retro Glam Palette. I have played around with this palette a little bit before I did this video, mainly with those beautiful greens and there's also some gorgeous browns and taupes in there and they're the ones that I've played around with. I've probably used this two or three times and I think that it is a really beautiful palette. Now on Natasha Denona's website, she says that this retro glam palette is bringing two of Natasha's most celebrated creations into the new midi-sized eyeshadow palette concept. This dynamic color story combines the greens, pinks and neutrals of the mini retro and I have the mini retro here. This is a really lovely mini and I do love the Natasha Denona mini eyeshadows. I think they're really lovely. And then she's also used a variety of the Seductive Glam Eyeshadow Palette, the finishes in there, in a collection of all new shades. So these are the two palettes that Natasha Denona talks about on her website. I'm sure most people are familiar with the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I've used the Mini Retro one quite a bit as well. Really lovely. So I'll just quickly show you the mini retro palette and then we've got the glam palette this is one of my favorite Natasha Denona palettes and it is many people's favorite it is really really beautiful there was one thing with this palette people well a lot of creators didn't really like that they had crease transition in the corner as the shade names in this glam palette but she also did it with, I think it was the face palettes that came out last year as well. I think those were the ones where she used that wording as well for the different shades. And I always thought it was a great idea, especially for someone that wasn't really familiar with makeup. And a couple of days ago, my sister-in-law came around and I was showing her in the room and she just wanted just a neutral, nothing too out there sort of eyeshadow palette. So I was showing her different ones, few Dior ones and Chanel and this one as well. Now when she opened it up straight away she loved the colour story. She thought it was absolutely beautiful and then she looked at the shade names, the ones of crease in a corner, lash line and she said oh this is really good. She says I'm going to get this palette. She goes now I'll know where to put things. So I do think that this was a good idea. Not everyone knows where to put shadow or when they get a bigger size palette they can get a little bit overwhelmed. So I've always thought that those are really, really helpful. So we'll take a look at the outside packaging. This has a shelf life of 24 months from date of opening. It has 19.25 grams of product. It is cruelty free. It's also paraben free, alcohol free and preservative free. And it also says on the back here that it is mineral oil free as well. So this is a 15 midi sized palette with the 15 shades and the outside packaging feels like a soft sort of matte finish. It actually feels really, really nice. So I'll take this out so you can take a look at it. As I was saying, I have used this two or three times. So the shadows inside aren't in pristine condition. The packaging is really lovely and I don't know whether you'll be able to see on camera but when you hold it up that way it moves more towards a 3D image and I think it is really really beautiful. And inside the palette are the really beautiful shades. The shades that I haven't used yet are the more pink shades. That pink shade, uh, the one in the middle, reminds me of uh, sort of like a 1950s kitchen. Gucci actually have a nail polish in that colour and I think it's really, really gorgeous. So today I will be doing the three eye looks and I'm going to use the pinks. I'll use the greens and I'll probably end up using most of these in this palette. So let's take a look and see how these eyeshadows swatch. They do feel really, really beautiful.
So these are swatched from left to right and top to bottom and you can see how beautifully that they do swatch. The first one is Flare. It's a sparkly metallic vintage rose with a silver shift. The next one is Jazzy. It's a metallic dark cool brown. Then we've got Oscar. It's a metallic light medium vintage champagne. Then we have Evergreen. It's a matte cream powder. It's a medium dark sage green. And the last on the top row is the shade Marlin. And that's a metallic light medium sage green. And then we're heading to the second row. And then we've got Maxi. It's a metallic medium warm taupe. Next is Sage. And that's a matte medium sage green. Then we have Holly. It's a matte light neutral rose. Then we've got Fringe. And that's a matte pastel sage green. And then last on the second row is the shade Fay, and this is a matte, medium, muted clay. The last row beginning with Flutter, and it's a sparkling light champagne pink, so it's a little bit more of a topper. It's not quite as opaque as the other metallic shades. Next is Lucy, and that's a matte light limestone. Then we have Paladian's metallic pastel sage green. Second to last is Belle. And that's a matte, medium, dusty rose. And then finally we have Oz. And that's metallic. It's a medium, dark, muted forest green. So I've already got all my base makeup on. And today I'm wearing the Natasha Denona. It's the Foundation X Plus Full Coverage Foundation. This is really lovely and goes well with my oily skin. Especially this time of the year. It's would be I would say would be called a soft matte foundation and it can be very full coverage so today I applied this using a beauty blender and it is in the shade 40m light medium I've also got my bronzer on powder I've got eyeshadow primer on and lightly powdered over that and the concealer that I'm wearing today is the new Chanel Sublimage one. But everything that I'm going to put on my face today, I will have listed and linked in the description box below. So we'll get started with the eyeshadow looks. I'm going to do the first two, one on each eye. And I'm not going to talk during this, but I will put some music to it. And once I've finished both of these eye looks, then I'll have a chat about how I think they look. So in one of them, I am going to be using for the first time some or all of those pinks. So it'll be interesting to see how that one turns out. The river flows one direction And fishes they follow Dragonfly heard the message Darkness was home for the star It spread its wings to the surface the Bright colors set them apart So before I put mascara on, I'm going to do the other eye first and I will be using some of the pink shades for the second eye look. Stay another minute and let me hold you You might be late for work, that's okay Day, every day I get to know you And all your flaws are nothing to change 
I love it when you wake up Freckles with no makeup I just want to take up All your time and stay put Humor mixed with perfume Takes over the bedroom I was built to love you You know Is there anybody mascara that I used was the Chanel Le Volume. So here is eye look number one. And here is eye look number two. So this is the first time that I used those pink shades. Now what I do love in this palette, I was a bit worried about using those pink shades. I bought this palette really for the beautiful greens in here and I wasn't too sure about the Dusty Rose and this pink one in here. But this shade here, and this one is called Flutter, and it's more of a topper. Once I put that over the top of this metallic here, it softened it up, and this is a really, really beautiful shade. I've used this one before too when I was playing around with this palette when I was doing mainly a uh, look with using the green eyeshadows and it really is such a beautiful shade this one I'm glad she's included this in this midi palette it's really versatile and you can use it in a lot of different ways and I love it to just soften a look that I think may be starting to look a bit harsh now I didn't wet my brushes when using the metallics you could if you wanted extra punch but considering that I didn't shadow here I think is absolutely beautiful so I used the two Oscar this one up here and then I went over with this mint shade here and together I think it looks really beautiful so this is mainly just using the brown and taupe shades and initially I went over with the lighter one here Faye just to start off the eye look but I think this is really lovely it's the first time that I've used mainly the brown shades as I said before, I was playing mainly with the, the green shades before I did this video. And I think this is really lovely too. These shadows blend really, really beautifully. And I like both eye looks. I think that well, both are very different because I've used the different colours. And this with the centre metallic in the middle is really beautiful. But I do love how these rose and the pink shades turned out as well and I just went in very lightly on the outer corner just using this shade here and just blended it out just so it wasn't too harsh so you can really get a diffused look and I think it's really really pretty so now I'm going to wash these off and we'll do the third and final look
dragonfly heard the message Darkness was home for the star It spread its wings to the surface The bright colors set them apart So I just used the same eyeliner again, the Natasha Denona one in brown and the same mascara as well. So now I'm going to put on some blush and lipstick. And for blush, I'm actually going to stick with this palette. I'm using quite a soft brush and I'll just go quite lightly because I haven't tried this as a blush yet. I'm going to tap in between those two shades and I'll just take off the excess. And just put on a light wash of colour. Looks like I'll be able to dip in again. So I'll just dip into this. This is the Dusty Rose. And for lipstick, I'm going to use the Natasha Denona one. This is I Need a Rose. And this is in the shade Peony. Then I'm going to use the matching lip gloss. This is the I Need a Rose lip gloss and this is in the shade Peony as well. So here is the third and final eye look. I think that this palette from Natasha Denona is absolutely gorgeous. These are colours that you'll either like or you won't. I can use a lot more shades in this palette than I thought I was going to be able to. I really bought this palette mainly for this green here and this one down here and the browns as well. But really with all of the looks I used all of the shades in this palette. I think it's really versatile and initially I wasn't too sure about the dusty rose and this pastel pink and the metallic up here. But I think in the end that second eye looked, looked really beautiful and you can tone it down quite a bit by putting this topper shade, this one here, Flutter, is absolutely gorgeous. The greens in this are just beautiful and I love it with the browns. I wouldn't wear the green just on its own, although it probably would look really beautiful on its own, but I prefer to put either one or two of the brown shades with it. I think it's really gorgeous. The one thing that I do think that this palette is missing, and I have plenty of other eyeshadows that I could reach for, but I don't like to do that with a palette. I really like all the shades to be in there. And really what I would have liked is possibly a deeper, a matte brown. And then I think this would have been absolutely perfect because with the matte shade, and if it was a lot deeper, I would use that even more in this outer corner. And I think that would look really, really gorgeous. But that's really just a small thing. These two shades do perform really, really beautifully. I just wish that there had been a matte brown. These blend absolutely beautifully. And with this eye look, I think you could tone it down if you didn't want it so much metallic in it. Although I think that this is a really lovely look. But if you wanted to keep it softer, you could just stick to... Just to the green, the, the mattes, and still maybe use a little bit of the brown like I have in the outer corner. But instead of going in with this shade here, or even this one, because this mint metallic is quite, quite a bright shade. It does look beautiful in the inner corner. But what you could do is just use 
the mattes, greens, like I said, and then over the top just with the flutter, and it would give a little bit of sparkle, but you wouldn't have that really metallic look. And of course, you could make it even more of a bold look if you wanted to. Just need to wet your brush when you put on the metallics, and you would certainly get a lot more of a bold look. But I think that this look is really lovely now out of the three i'm not too sure which is my favorite i would wear any three of them i think they are all really lovely but i particularly love the greens in this palette and that is why i got it and i'm thrilled with them i think they look really really beautiful and i think that the two shades look really gorgeous as a blush as well that dusty rose that's in here and mixed together with this pastel pink i think it gives a really pretty look on the cheeks and that Natasha Denona lipstick the shade Peony is really really beautiful so I am really pleased that I picked up this palette and can add it to my Natasha Denona collection so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time bye